one of the things that you learn is you never say maybe to a kid about a reward. If you say we might have ice cream later, you are essentially saying we are having ice cream. They don't hear the maybe part. And it turns out adults don't either. It's really interesting. There's something called reward prediction error. I've talked about this before, but I haven't really talked about it deeply in the context of the dopamine system. Dopamine, as I've said, is involved in anticipation of wanting, not of having. It's involved in motivation toward the thing that you want, and it biases us towards action. Reward prediction error equals the actual amount of dopamine that's released in response to something versus minus the amount that's expected, okay? So if you tell a kid, we might have ice cream, they hear, we're gonna have ice cream, and they expect it. And if you later say, well, we're not gonna have ice cream, and I said, maybe, that's actually gonna lead to a much bigger crash in dopamine. It's going to lead to a negative signal, a punishment signal. It's going, literally going to feel like pain. So kids, you can leverage this. If your parents say maybe, they're effectively telling your dopamine system, absolutely. Now, adults are like this too. If we think something might happen and it doesn't happen, there's a big crash in our, in our affect, in our emotionality. And that's because that dopamine system goes from firing about three to four times per second to about 10 or 15 times per second in the possibility that something might happen. Possibility is deeply woven into our biology of the dopamine and motivation system as a way for us, presumably in ancient times to explore novel territories and get a sense that maybe there's water there. Maybe there are mates there. Maybe there's better food there. Maybe there's resources there. The maybe is an important thing that in language terms, maybe means maybe, but in neurobiological terms, maybe means perhaps there's going to be the surprise of an even bigger dopamine reward. And the one thing dopamine loves more than anything else is surprise. When we get something positive, we go to the mailbox, we're expecting some bills and you open it up and you get a letter from somebody you haven't thought about in a long time and you adore that person, that's a huge dopamine release. It actually triggers neural plasticity. You probably never forget that because of the way that dopamine gates plasticity. When we get a, a surprise of something that we didn't want, also it creates plasticity. So the surprise, novelty, motivation, and reward, they're all woven into this package that we call dopamine. And the cool thing is you can actually regulate this whole system in a way that will steer you or lean you towards more positive anticipation of things in life and less disappointment. It's simply a matter of adjusting what we call the dopamine schedule.